What's up? Today I'm here to show you how to monetize your YouTube Shorts and turn this into this and also monetize your YouTube Shorts even if you don't have a monetized channel. So let's get to it. Now, before we start, I wanna tell you something that is very, very important. If you don't click the like button right now, nothing is gonna happen. You're not gonna make money from your YouTube Shorts. Just kidding, but you know, helps the channel out, come on. Now the first thing you need to understand is why YouTube Shorts were created in the first place. And the, the reason they created YouTube Shorts is because in March 2021, YouTube wanted to compete with TikTok and Instagram Reels. And the way they, they found to do this is to implement this same concept in the YouTube platform. And they named it YouTube Shorts. And what I'm going to show you today is how you can make those YouTube Shorts with almost zero effort by your side. And to do this, I'm gonna have to jump into my computer and show it to you and explain it to you step by step. So let's go. All right, guys. So here we are at the computer right now. And right now I'm gonna teach you guys how you can make this process happen. So the first thing you have to do is you need to um, f find your niche. First, you need to decide where you wanna be uh, what kind of videos you want to be posting, what kind of YouTube shorts you want to be posting to your channel, right? So in my case, it's going to be entertainment and I've, choose to, I've chosen to do um, some funny videos. So what I'm going to do here, I've already prepared some links here for you guys. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to YouTube, like I've told you to do, and I'm going to do funny videos. What you guys want to do is type in, let's say you're doing the same as me, like whatever you want to do, like funny videos, funny videos, okay? So when you find the video, you want to go to filters. Remember that videos usually have copyright. So you can't just use any video that pops up. You need to go to filters and search the Creative Commons tab. When you do this, you're going to be separating yourself from the copyrighted videos and you're going to get into the videos that the creator has actually given you permission to use them commercially. OK, so these are the Creative Commons videos, um, as you guys can see. Uh, they have lots of views, you know, people really enjoy this video, these kind of videos, like 12, 12 million views, um, 50, 500,000 views, 6 million, 13 million, um, some of them have 50 million, even more, right? They, some of them have even more than that. So what you have to do is, as you can see, these videos are pretty long. Uh, so this one's eight, eight, 8 minutes, this one's 18 minutes, this one's 5 minutes, um, this one is 3 minutes. Um, you, what you have to do is choose between a bunch of these, right? So I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to just choose two for the sake of this video because I don't want to, you know, um, I'm going to have to edit these. So I want to choose these, these short ones. And since the YouTube short is only about um, 15 to 60 second video, you want to do about 30 second video. Um, you don't have to use much footage from uh, these other videos, but what you want to be doing is download uh, a few that you'd like, a few that you know that have lots of views that people already enjoy and, and already like a lot on YouTube. Um, some tools you can use to be able to see this stuff better is this one. Um, Keywords Everywhere, which is a, a Chrome extension. Chrome extension, and uh, also you can use vidIQ, which is this tool over here, and you can also use TubeBuddy. And these three tools together, they're gonna give you all of this information that you're seeing right here, right? When you search a video, you can, you're gonna see how well, how people watch these, um, if they enjoy it. You can see how many people are viewing this video per hour. You can see how many subs the channel has. Um, you can see the tags that they're using in their videos. You can see all of that information, right? You're going to understand why this is good for you in just a second. So first of all, choose the videos, choose the videos that you want to download. I've already chosen two videos. So keep in mind, these videos, you're not going to run into trouble with them, right? Like copyright issues or anything like that. Okay. So what you can do is go into the video. When you scroll through it in a computer, it's going to show you the parts that people are most watching. So you can see here in this video, the two minutes and four seconds I think it's where the, the guy jumps off this cliff um, is the part that people most watch in the video. So you can just, if you want, you could just get the parts that people most watch in the video and put them together and make a 30 second clip. So in this case, it would be from like 151 until 217, let's say, right? So this is the part of the video people watch. This, the rest of it, people barely watched, right? So what you can do is take just the best parts of each video that you download and put them together. And I'm going to show you how you can do this in just a sec. In this video, some videos you won't see that bar, but what you can do is watch through it. And when you see like there's, 
usually a bit where something happens. May almost, abide in the almost always a bit that something happens. When you take that bit, you know, it, it already has like 13 million views, so you don't have to worry. People already like this video. Just download it. And the way you download the video is you take the link, copy the link, and you go to this website over here. You're gonna paste it here. I'm gonna leave the link for these websites in the description of this video right now. So if you wanna check it out, you just go down to the description of the video. I'm gonna leave the link for everything that I'm talking about here in the video. And while you're doing that, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the like button. It really helps the channel out. All right, so once you paste the link here, click start. <clears throat> it's gonna show you a bunch of options here. Uh, so 1080p, 720, 480. Since it's a YouTube short, people are just, you know, they, they take their phone and they're just scrolling through YouTube. So they don't, they're not expecting like this huge production value. So you can just um, take something like 480p or 720p and just post it and just download it. It's, it's gonna be enough for the YouTube short. All right, so in this case, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna download 480p. Um, I'm going to also download the other clip which is this one over here. Download this one. I'm gonna do 480p as well. Okay, so it's generated a link for this one. So you click download. All right, it started downloading. Um, it's generating the link for this one as well. So you just have to wait like a, a couple of seconds. I think I already have a video downloaded here, to be honest. Yep, I already have uh, a couple of videos here. So I think I'm just gonna cancel this one because it's taking a long time. Okay, so I've downloaded that. Now what you wanna do is you want to copy these tags in these videos. And why would you want to do that? Because these tags are how people find the videos. It's how uh, YouTube, the YouTube algorithm knows who to show your video to. So they're kind of important. They're not the break or make the video, but they're important to have. So you can just, you know, take this video here that has lots of views and you can copy all of these tags, you know, just place it into like a text file, some kind of text file, cause you're gonna use it in a minute. Not that, just copy that. Okay, so we got all the tags from the video. Um, now what you wanna do, you can close that. If you want to see how many people are searching for funny videos, keywords everywhere, the Chrome extension is gonna show it to you. One million people every single month search for this funny videos. So it shows you that it has a very high demand. If you wanna find other tags as well, you can just go to funny videos, funny videos 2022, funny videos 2021, funny videos TikTok. All of these have lots of search volume, funny videos, animals, right? So these have lots of search volume. And you can use all of these tags in the description of your video and also in the tags of the video. Okay, so that's how you find the tags for the video. <clears throat> After you downloaded all those videos, you save those tags for, for a bit, a uh, little bit. Go into, where's the tab here? This one. You wanna go into canva.com, right? Go to canva.com, which is a free website. You don't have to pay to use it. Just create an account, log into your account, and it's going to show you this web page right here that you're looking at in my computer. So when once you're in here and you created your absolutely free account, you don't have to pay, just click video. And you want to choose mobile video, mobile video, 1080p, 1920, which is a, the kind of video that we want to make. It's a 16 by nine, which is the, the frame that the YouTube shorts use. It's not a wide video, it's a 16 by nine, okay? All right, so I already have a uh, a couple of videos here uploaded to this website. So I'm just gonna use these. Um, what you have to do is you, you, you're gonna have a blank slate down here where I'm showing you right now. Click the plus button. So you have two of those because I have two clips, right? So you're gonna need two. Uh, the first one, you right, drag it to one of them. Give it some time to load. All right, so the video's up. And then you click the other one and do the same. So you drag them down to each of these blocks. So it's gonna choose the two videos for you. All right, now what do you do now? First you pause the video. <laughs> uh, now you double click the video, right click it, detach video from background. This is gonna allow you to, you know, um, make it as big as you want. You can see uh, this is kind of little, a little bit heavy for my computer right now. 
for some reason, I don't know why, but uh, you have this timeline down here that you can just manipulate as you want. So what I wanna do is I wanna cut the video, use only the best part of this video. So I'm gonna cut it down. You could just drag it back and it's gonna show you how big the video is right now, right? So it's four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. Remember, we just need a few seconds, right? So you just get the absolute best part of this video. I'm just making it smaller right now so you can better manipulate it because it's kind of heavy. As you can see, it's already going faster. Um, I haven't found a way to do this quicker. So just keep dragging it until we find the best part of the video. Now let's just say that I found the best part of the video and it's this bit right here. If you, if you want to manipulate, just do this, do that, you know, drag it around. It's not that complicated. But once you found the best parts of the video, you can see up here how, how long your video is. So what we need is a video about, let's say, um, 30 seconds to maximum a minute. So I, I recommend you just do a 30 second video. So let's say I want 15 seconds from this one, the best 15 seconds and 15 seconds from this one, which is a 30 second clip. You can see 30 seconds up here. Um, once we do that, manipulate the background, you wanna make the video fit the screen in a way that doesn't look awkward. So you can see the guys over here, right? So let me load the volume here really quick. So you can see the guy is over here in the video. You don't want it to look kind of awkward. So you wanna kind of centralize him in the video, right? So it, people can see what's going on. And you want to leave a blank space up here and down here on purpose. And you want to do it to both videos. Okay. I think I've already done it to this one, but let's make it a little bit bigger. Yep. I like that. Should be fine. Okay. So he is centered. That's awesome. That's not a problem at all. Um, what we want to do now is we want to add a call to action to this video because when we upload this YouTube short, we want to make sales using the video description. So what you want to do is come up here to text, come down here to text. Um, you can choose all kinds of text, right? So I'm not really going to mess too much with this video. I'm just going to, I don't know. Um, let's use this one. Oh, this one's a paid one. Let's just use a free one, right? Add a heading. So we, we're gonna drag this heading a little bit down because we wanna make it smaller. And what we wanna type in is link in description. Okay, so we wanna drag it up, change the background color of the, um, the wallpaper of the video. Right now it's white. You can change it to whatever you want. I'm gonna change it to a, yellow and maybe make the text um black just so it pops oh yeah that's looking much better okay so link in description making a call to action so everyone that watched the video they're gonna be you know they're gonna see this and they're gonna be keen to look in the description for what you want them you want them to look in the description for which is your um link to make sales that we're gonna talk about in just a sec okay so after you've done this to both videos, so you have to do it to both clips, just copy and paste like control C, control V or command C, command V depends if you're using a Mac. I'm just gonna change the background of this one as well to yellow. Yep, looking good. All right, so we have our clip and if we, if we drag the timeline here and we play it, when it ends, it's gonna automatically jump to the next video. So, okay, so that's done. What we want to do now is share the video. Click share, download MP4 video, all pages, download. Now it's going to be downloading the video to my computer. And while it's doing that, I want to explain to you guys what you're going to do next. So before we post the video on YouTube, before we upload it to our new channel, you want to have something to sell. Okay. So for you to have something to sell, I've prepared a few websites here. Um, the two websites are Digistore24 and Clickbank. And these two websites, what they're gonna do, let me open them for you. They're gonna enable you to find um, some kind of digital product or even a physical product, depending on what website you're choosing. 
I think uh, Digistore 24, they have physical products as well. Yep, you can see here they have this 85% um, commission. Um, you could make up to $158 um, dollars per sale. This one you can make up to 42. See, it's a, this one's a new plan. It's a digital product, you know. Um, you can just promote it now. You can make 200, up to 210 on this one, 50% commission, 75% commission. So they're really good. They're already made. People, they already sell because they're showing here in the main page. So you don't have to worry about it being a shitty product because people already have like proven that this sells, okay? In ClickBank, it's the same thing. And um, average conversion is this. Gravity scores means um, how much it's selling. Uh, this is a... I think ClickBank only has digital products. I could be wrong. I'm not really sure, but they have lots of things that you can uh, become an affiliate here and just instantly uh, promote. So you, once you find something that you like, just click promote. Oh, first you have to click create an, an account on both of these websites. Then you click promote, put in here your nickname, which is required. And then you choose what you want to promote in this offer. Just click default, create hop link. Once you create a link, it automatically generates a link for you. So this is your affiliate link. Every time someone clicks this link and buys this product, you're going to get a commission, potentially up to this value here. OK, so there you go. Now you have something to sell. Um, just copy this link and paste it somewhere uh, so you can have it saved. OK, now that you have your affiliate link either here or ClickBank, I'm going to leave these links in the description for you guys. Don't worry. They're all there. So now the video is already in the uh, saved to my computer. What you have to do is search for it. Here it is. Link in description. So the video is done. It's made. All right. There it is. Okay. So what you have to do now is you have to go to your YouTube account. Click here, upload a video, select the file you want to upload, link in description. This is the video that we just created. Upload it. Now, you're going to have to name your video. I'm not going to name this video anything important because I don't even know what the videos are. I didn't even watch them to see what they are. So I'm not going to give it a um, name. It's just funniest video. 2022 or something like that, right? You make something, um, you you can just search a keyword using the tools that I showed you and put something relevant here in, in the name of the video. Now in the description, the first thing you wanna be putting is your affiliate link. So the first thing you wanna put here is your affiliate link. So every time someone sees your video, they're gonna click this link. If you want, you can make this link a little bit better, which is going to bitly.com. And then you put a link here. I say uh, create link, bit.ly, choose that link, enter long URL, create. So now you have a smaller link, which looks much, much better than the other one. Just copy that, paste it here. Awesome. You can even, you can even name it here if you want, like um, app offer. All right, so save. Yeah, that one's not available. Just put some numbers here just to give you guys an example. OK, copy. There you go. So every time someone clicks this link, they're going to go instantly into your affiliate offer. OK, so when they buy, you're going to get a commission. So now you have something to make money on. And then you have your video. You have your name of the video. You have your affiliate offer down here. You want to put the all of the tags that you just copied from that video. So put, put the tags here. You don't need to add a thumbnail. Don't need to add it to a playlist. Um, the reason you don't need to put a thumbnail is because these videos actually perform better if you don't put a thumbnail in them. It looks more authentic and people actually like them better. So show more, add tags here. Here you can also place the tags that you just searched. You know, just put them in here as well so it makes the video more searchable on YouTube. So the YouTube algorithm knows who to show your video to. Okay. So that's very important. It's not going to break, make or break your video, but it's going to help out. Definitely. So after you've done that, you could just press next and then paste the video. I'm not going to do this because it's my actual YouTube channel. Um, so 
I hope you have enjoyed this video today. It's very easy. It's kind of complicated in the beginning, but once you do it the first time, it becomes very easy. So you just, all you have to do is create a new channel, name it something and post consistent videos every single day to start getting loads and loads of views and possibly making loads and loads of sales and making loads and loads of money. I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you want to check out my video on how you can read everything and never forget it, just click this link right now and you're going to be redirected to my next video. Don't forget to leave a like, work hard, play harder.